Hi, this is Marina and today I'm going to make pumpkin spice pumpkin shaped cookies. And I've got the idea to make these cookies from Starbucks. I just love their cookies. They look very pretty and they're delicious. So I thought why not make them myself? So I'm going to make kind of the same type of cookie, but I'm going to put a little less sugar in them and make uh, use natural colors to decorate them and I will make them today for my kids. They're perfect for any occasion, whether it's a Halloween party or a Thanksgiving gathering. They are just perfect for this time of year. I love them, they look pretty, and they're so delicious. I hope you like them as well, so stay tuned, and I'll show you how I make them. To make the cookie dough, we need softened butter, coconut oil, you can use any other oil you prefer, cane sugar, all-purpose flour, I'm using unbleached all-purpose flour, pumpkin pie spice, one extra large egg, mayonnaise, baking soda, apple cider vinegar, and of course some vanilla extract. And if you don't have pumpkin pie spice or you cannot get it uh, where you are, it, pumpkin pie spice is just a mix of spices and I will put that list on my blog. Mix the butter and the coconut oil with an electric mixer until the mixture is soft and fluffy. Add the sugar and continue to mix for about two minutes. Add in the egg and mix until everything is well combined. Now add in the mayonnaise and because I'm adding the mayonnaise, I'm not going to add any salt. Then add the apple cider vinegar to the baking soda and mix it until all of the baking soda is dissolved. This will give the cookie that unique texture that is different from other traditional, more chewy or soft cookies. Add in the pumpkin pie spice then add the vanilla extract. Mix everything until everything is well combined without over mixing. Now I'm going to add about a third of my flour and mix it until it's just combined. And I will continue to do that until I have incorporated all of the flour. Now I'm going to cover the dough with a plastic foil and put it in my refrigerator to chill for about one hour. I took my chilled dough out of the refrigerator and divided it into two halves. I'm going to roll it in flour a little bit and put it on my parchment paper so that I can roll it out on the parchment paper. I just like doing it this way so that the dough doesn't stick to the surface. Roll out the dough to about one fourth to one half of an inch in thickness. And I'm using my pumpkin shaped cookie cutter to cut out my cookies. I baked my cookies at 375 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes and I put them on a wire rack to cool. Now I'm going to prepare my frosting. I'm going to mix the butter until it is soft and fluffy. Now I'm going to add in the powdered sugar vanilla extract and some cream. Mix all of the ingredients together until the cream has reached the desired consistency. Add in more cream if necessary and mix it some more. And I have a little swiper here. <laughs> I guess I'm going to have two different colors for my frosting. I'm going to save a few spoons of the cream in a separate bowl for my brown colored frosting. Now, if you want your pumpkins to have a yellow frosting, you can just add turmeric spice to your frosting. 
and if you want it to be more orange then you have to add a few teaspoons of any red color jam or jelly. Now to the fun part, the frosting of the cookies. To have brown stamps on my pumpkins I'm going to use the reserved icing and add a little bit of cocoa powder to it and mix it all together and finish decorating them. You can be as creative as you want with decorating these pumpkins. You can make them look like carved pumpkins, you can add stripes. They are so delicious. Take a moment and enjoy.